in spite of the the way that you know academics and others talk about the Canadian healthcare system as as, as if it's some lovely rational construction run by angels in the interests of consumers and patients. In fact, it's a ramshackle system pieced together by people who don't understand what they're doing and in which politicians stick their fingers at any provocation for short-term political advantage. Um, and it's a system in which the consumers of health care are largely silenced because it's a monopoly and they don't have much choice. The argument was that we were going to do this for uh, social welfare purposes, for equity purposes, everybody would be treated the same, no one would be able to jump the queue and all the rhetoric that goes around that. In fact, the reality is that uh, we created a system, uh, and this is true of every monopoly I've ever looked at, it's run in the interests of the people who run the system rather than in the interests of the consumers who are trying to use it. In the Canadian healthcare system, you're not a customer because you don't have a choice. You can't say, if you don't deal with me expeditiously, if you don't keep your promises, if you don't do what you're supposed to do, I'm going to take my business elsewhere. That choice doesn't exist for you under the Canadian healthcare system. Everybody in the system gets paid whether you're satisfied or not. And uh, the outcome of that is that um, uh, we have a system with lengthening queues, we have a system with very poor productivity. We have a system where no matter how much money we put into it, the money kind of disappears, doesn't result in production of more medical services. People don't get to see more doctors, more procedures don't get performed. Uh, and um, where it's getting increasingly hard for Canadians to even have a family doctor. 20% of Canadians, according to Statistics Canada now, don't have a family physician and can't find one. Uh, so. I'd say that these are quite significant problems in the Canadian healthcare system. In a provincial election several years ago, one of the major issues that the parties fought over throughout the entire election campaign was the quality of toast in hospitals. There was much argument about which party would ensure that there was better quality toast in the hospitals of Manitoba. Now, aside from the fact this is a ridiculous thing to fight an election about, I think it says something very important about what politicians believe in this country their responsibilities are in the healthcare system. You see, I think in almost any other country, the idea that politicians would be responsible for the quality of toast in hospitals would be laughable. Why would politicians think that they controlled the healthcare system to such a degree of detail that they could decide whether your toast was buttered on the right side uh, or whether it was hot or cold? I mean, this is absurd.